This video is sponsored by Anchor Point. I think the one thing that's common among all creatives, no matter if you're a 3D artist or a graphic designer, is the amount of data we produce on a daily basis. Having to manage all that can be a daunting task. We've covered parts of this uh, data management workflow in previous videos, so in this one I want to highlight the last but equally important part of this puzzle, and that's asset management, learning how to work with versioning, how to easily collaborate with others, and how to keep ourselves organized. This is where Anchor Point comes into play. It's the piece of software that binds everything together and makes team collaboration a whole lot easier. Let's talk about it. At its core, AnchorPoint is an asset management system, but this title is a very simplified way to describe what the software does. It's the equivalent of calling Notion a note-taking app. Yes, it can be used that way, but you can do a whole lot more with it. So let's see what kind of things we can do with AnchorPoint, and let's start with the basics first. Here's my setup. Some commercial projects are missing because I can't really share those, but I'm using AnchorPoint for all of my work. 3D, which is perfect for, 2D Illustrator work, as a mood board tool, pretty much anything you can imagine. The majority of the projects you see here are from my YouTube and video related work. When I'm editing, I don't want to think where each file is located. If I'm in the zone, I just want to quickly grab the elements I need and continue with my edit. And for this type of work, an asset management system like Anchor Point is perfect. So. Here's my three projects for my video related work. I have one for all my music files, one for sound effects, and one for video elements. Let's go into the SFX project. Everything is organized into these different folders. So let's say I need a whoosh element. I can click on this folder and all the whoosh related elements are there. What's cool is that I can quickly find the style I want because we can easily preview all files. I just have to hover over them and they will begin to play. Let's say now that I need some footstep sounds and I can't recall exactly where they're located. Instead of going through all the different folders trying to find them, I can just search for it. I'll type step and we immediately get some results back. The folder where all the effects are is the topmost result, so we can just press enter and go to that folder directly. Or we can preview the individual files that have the word step in them. Having a system like that where everything is accessible in a matter of seconds is extremely important, especially if you're on a tight deadline. At that point, your focus is on getting the project done and not trying to babysit your hard drive. Now, let's take things another step further. And to show you that, let's go to the music project. This is where I store all the songs I can freely use on my videos. You've already seen how easy it is to preview files, but the thing I want to show you here is that we can also skim through the file so we can quickly evaluate how the song progresses. I use this feature pretty much every time I work on a video. We also have some other cool little features. The first one is the ratings ability. I've already rated the songs I use frequently, so if I want to, I can just filter by rating, and I immediately have access to the songs I need, without having to remember the name or the artist. But apart from rating, we also have other ways to enrich a file's metadata, and that's tags. Let's switch to the list view for that. As you can see, I've already created a new category for the genre of the songs. So if I'm going for a specific vibe, let's say pop, I can just type in pop and all the related songs will show up. And then with some simple previewing, I can narrow things down even further. <laughs> Thank you. 
Even though I'm showing you video related workflows, all these things can easily apply to any type of work. 3D, graphic design, etc. That's the beauty of an asset management system like Anchor Point and one of the reasons I love Notion so much. With these types of tools, we can do pretty much whatever we have in mind. We can easily mold them to fit our needs instead of the other way around. Okay, so far we've covered search, previewing, and tagging. All of them super important in our day-to-day -day work, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's now dig in a little bit deeper and let's explore some more complex features like versioning, team collaboration, and general project organization. And to do that, we're going to switch to another project. This one is about working with 3D assets. It's a dummy project, but it uses the same structure I actually use on my own projects. As you can see here, I'm working with another teammate. The shared folder is on OneDrive, but we can use whatever cloud service we want. I personally use Backblaze, but if you're comfortable with something else like Dropbox, you're good to go. You might have noticed that this project looks a little bit different than the ones I showed you earlier. On the left side, we have all the assets of the collection. The ones marked yellow are the objects we're currently working on. The one marked red hasn't started yet. And the green ones are the models that are completely finished. We can easily change the colors just by clicking on the folder icon. Now, if we go inside one of these folders, we have some more cool things going on. First off, we have a small task list we can easily collapse and expand. Each task is assigned to a specific person. Once the task is complete, we can check it off the list. Of course, the task list can work in multiple different ways. So if, for example, we want to have an approval system, we could very well do that. We could add a column and create tags that respond to different review steps. Under review, approval, etc. We can easily shape things however we want. The other thing you might have noticed here is the fact that we can actually preview our Cinema 4D file. As a matter of fact, we can preview a lot of different file types. Illustrator, Substance, Photoshop, Cinema 4D, and a ton more. So whatever work you're into, you will be able to preview things without any issues. The other thing you might have noticed is the shading underneath the file. That indicates that we have versioning enabled. If I expand the view, we will see all the different iterations of the project, which is what we need especially when working with others. That way, if something goes wrong, we can easily revert back to an earlier version. We can open the previous version of the file, we can open the new one, or we can just create a new version. Once we save the changes, Anchor Point will update the preview to the latest version. And if we want to get something that looks closer to the final render, we can just screenshot the render and use that as the thumbnail. Just so you understand what's going on in the background, Anchor Point doesn't modify the files or add something extra to them. It just reads the contents of a folder. So if we go to the root of the folder, you will see all the subfolders we see in Anchor Point the bowls, the vanity, vase, etc. If we go inside the vase folder, you will see the three different files. And if we create a new version inside Anchor Point, a new file will be created in that folder. And the other way around, if we add a file with a new version number in Finder, Anchor Point will update the stack to the latest version. The other cool thing that's available is a complete commenting system, and we can bring that up with a spacebar. So let's say that I want to inform my teammate that we should change the color of this section to red. I can just draw an arrow to that area and then write down my comment. Our teammates can also respond to our comments, so we have a complete review system inside the app without having to rely on emails, screenshots, or comments through chat. Everything is right there in one place. The commenting works on all types of files, including videos, which is perfect when reviewing dailies. Let's go to the vanity asset for this one, and more specifically to the renders folder. 
Here we have an animation sequence, and if we want to, we can tidy up the window by stacking the image files together. But we can also easily create a video file. So we just have to right click and then convert to MP4. Perfect. Now let's open up the video file, preview it, and let's write down our comment. As you can see, the comment is locked onto a specific frame, which is exactly what we want when we have more complex videos and more things going on than this simple 360 view. The last thing I want to show you, which is incredibly handy, and I use it multiple times per day, is the link functionality. So let's say you want to tell your colleague to check a certain texture. Instead of giving them the file path like new amazing assets slash lilac slash text and then the name of the file, you can just right click, copy app link, and then paste it in chat. When they click on it, Anchor Point will open up and it will direct them to the exact file. Super simple. And the other cool thing we can do with that link is that if you're working with Notion and a database of assets, we can just paste that link there, and now we have a direct access point to that file right from Notion. As you can see, the system allows for a lot of flexibility. There's also a ton more features like uh, version control through Git, or the ability to build your own custom tools through the app's API. You can modify things exactly to your own or your team's liking. I've been using Anchor Point for quite a while now, and it's difficult to revert back to my previous workflow. For me, it's a super easy recommendation, so I would suggest you give the app a try. The basic features are available for free, and the more advanced ones are available through subscription. I'll have the link to the app's website on the description below, so if you're interested, you can check it out. And I think that about wraps things up for this video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.